If I was offered two things, one of those things being streaming for 10 hours every day, six days a week, or working at a fast food place, or even a job with a degree like a, an accountant or a counselor for, let's say, five days a week, I would choose the streaming or the gaming or the, the content creation for 10, 12 hours a day in a heartbeat. Now, obviously, you might have seen this clip, which I'll play here. A real job can be gruesome. A real job can make you very tired. But a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you. You know what I mean? In the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. So Hassan, which I really hate in general, and I'll get into why, but he's being drugged through the mud because of the statements that he made here. And then he's like, in the same clip, you know, that he posted to his own Twitter, he's like, no, 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 you, you took it out of context. And so he played this. No, 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 no. Social battery wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch with my I'm gonna die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job, okay? I'm telling you, as someone who did did both, nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing taps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me, but I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons. Service sector, people pleasing jobs would be very similar. Those are like, I think, customer service type shit. But like, if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales, my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours. That's what, that's what like sucks your, your social battery and you just tap out after it. So now that I'm showing you the two contexts, I wanted to talk about this for two reasons. One, he immediately reverted to talking about it drinks your social battery is what I meant as like a cope because his chat was going nuts and he knew he was already going on Twitter and all this stuff was going to go viral. So he started coping and posted this to kind of, I guess, simmer things. But in a way, I think it makes it worse because he's saying you don't have to do this social stuff and people pleasing for nine, 10 hours straight or whatever, which is just bullshit because I think even factory workers who sit and they do an assembly line they could go a nine hour shift without talking to one person but they still don't want to be around anyone or do anything because they just fucking worked on their feet for nine hours a real job is gruesome and a real job is very tiring and most jobs out there are very soul-sucking way more than streaming i've been often on streaming and making content since i was like 15 and like i said i would take doing this 10 hours a day seven days a week in a heartbeat so now that i've got the most recent thing out of the way i wanted to talk a bit about hassan himself See, the reason I hate Hassan so much is he's basically just the king of hypocrisy. This here is the shirt that he wore to the Met Gala, which obviously says, uh, make the rich pay, which I am not the biggest fan of capitalism. I am not, you know, in support of these billionaires getting more billions, of course, but coming from someone like Hassan, it would be no different than if like fucking Jeff Bezos is wearing this shirt. Hassan makes easily more than a doctor, which he said himself. He has a multi-million dollar home, a very expensive car, an uncle who has done a laundry list of things to him a shit ton of money and after all that he wears a shirt saying make the rich pay i mean the hypocrisy in this is just fucking slap right in the mouth since i was like 16 i think is when i got my first real job um i have been making just over like 20 grand a year at best and for this like neanderthal caveman looking dude to be claiming that you know the rich should be taxed when he's making probably more in one brand deal than i make in a year it's really disrespectful and the weirdest part about hassan is like his fan base they're like average is probably around the same thing that I make maybe a little more maybe a little less and they support this fucking multi-millionaire who is basically telling them yeah the rich people suck get the rich people right like it just it's so delusional and Hassan is a socialist and in super super basic terms socialism is like taxing people more so that you can give more to people so that we can create a better economy for everybody and everybody's more stable instead of just you know 90% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck there are flaws with capitalism just as there are flaws with socialism 
but that's not what this video is about. However, the video premise is he is the socialist, and that's basically how he built his identity, is talking about how bad the American capitalistic system is. But he's made his millions of dollars through that same system, and he doesn't seem to be giving it away to help the poor, nor would I expect him to. I mean, if I grind out my YouTube channel and streaming, I would love to get in a position where I could do that as a full-time job one day. But I'm not going to belittle people who have to do actual hard labor full-time jobs, construction jobs, work in bad weather, work in sewage, etc. And I mean, if you really think about it in brass tacks, Hassan's not even that intensive of a streamer. He sits on his computer like 90% of other streamers. I mean, if anything, he could have been like an IRL streamer that's constantly running around or finding new ways to engage his audience. He literally just sits on his ass in front of his computer and watches other people's videos. That's literally all he does. And like I've mentioned several times on this channel, there are millions of people out there who would do a lot of good work to be remotely close to what Hassan is doing right now. In that topic, is streaming and making content draining? Hell yeah, it is. I mean, I probably put in more work over my first year on this channel for YouTube than a lot of other passion projects that I've ever got close to. But the only jobs that I would say are genuinely easier than doing something like content or streaming is probably like a secretary or a front desk employee. And even working in those, I can tell you that they still have their moments that make them really difficult for sure.